on vectors we're going to show you how they work imagine you've got two vectors A with a squiggly B with another squiggly there ok that's how you draw vectors, what are vectors? vectors are just simply um, a distance and a direction in a certain direction right? so that's what the arrows mean, it's that way yeah? ok now if we label this triangle A, B, C um, to get from A to B, what do you say? you write that, you write it like this A to B is made up of vector A sounds simple right? and what about A to C? can you guess? it's equal to B Right, but what happens if you want to know what B to C is? B to C from there to there can be you can take the long route and go this way. Remember, vectors are all like train tracks. You have to take. You, if there's no train track, you can't go that way. You can't you can't go there if there's no track, basically. Yeah. So you have to follow the vectors. Okay? But you can make new tracks like we're about to hear. B to C is minus A plus B. Minus A plus B. Done. Right. Now we're going to do something more complicated. Imagine that is M. What is B C? BM going to equal B to M. As I said, we've just made a new track. So we can start using this track, and M is halfway down that track. So BM is equal to half of BC. Notice it's not half of CB because CB is the other way, and a vector or a train track, whatever you want to call it has a certain direction it's got a direction at an angle and a certain distance so BM is half of BC right and what is half of BC that's half of this stuff here minus A plus B right um, I could write that another way, let's just say, because this is a quick introduction to it, to vectors, you could say minus half A plus half B. This is better if you're trying to combine your one vector with another, like we're going to do right now. So we've got one thing here, one bit here, one bit here one bit here now the last bit we're going to work out is how do we get from A to M again we've just built another train track BM from here to there so if we want to go from here to there we already know that from our route by the way is going to be this way I could have done it this way but we've actually just worked out this so why not reuse it we've just worked out BM Okay, and we already have AB, so it makes sense to go this way to get from A to M. I should have wrote down what we're trying to do again. AM to get from A to M, it's equal to A to B plus B to M. Right, and what is A to B equal to? from A to B is equal to vector A remember we're trying to do it in terms of A and B at the end the vectors A and B because they are they are our original train tracks so it's all based on that yeah? plus this stuff BM BM is equal to all this stuff so minus half oops clear it nicely minus half A plus half 
B. Right, it's getting a bit smaller. Let's bring it nice and close. Right. A minus half A, or A plus half A. A plus minus half A just means A minus half A. A minus half A is just half A. Plus half B, there's nothing else, there's no other B's to go with that. Plus half B. And we're done. Notice we have to do the squigglies, little squiggly signs underneath the vectors, because that shows it's a vector. And in a textbook, you'll see not a squiggly line, but bold letters, because that's how you do it in print. In hand, by using, when you do it in handwriting, you have to do it like this. When you see it in a book or a textbook, it's in bold to signify a vector. And that's the end of the video.